Hi everyone, welcome back in my channel. For today's video, I will prepare a step-by-step -step process of how to take pictures before and after the procedure to make sure that your portfolio on Instagram and all the social media looks beautiful. What do I use for taking a beautiful pictures before and after the procedure? I really like to use ring light. It's important for you to buy a ring light where you can change the temperature because if you put too much warmth, it's not going to look so nice. I like to use medium temperature, so a little bit cooler, a little bit warmer. It's really important to put your ring light over the client's head. You need your light exactly over the client's face. For my pictures, I like to use iPhone 13 Pro Max. And for beautiful close-ups, I really like to use this macro lens. Name of the macro lens is Xenvo, and you can easily buy it on Amazon. Let's check the settings on my iPhone now. First things first, go to your settings, choose camera, go to formats, turn on high efficiency, turn on Apple Pro Raw, and turn on Apple Pro Res. Go back, go to the record video and turn on 4K at 60 FPS, which means frames per second. The reason why is because there is a lot of photos and it's a very good quality and you can do a beautiful slow-mo if you are going to record your videos at 4K at 60 FPS. Another very important thing in order to take a beautiful picture is to have a very nice and clean background. I recommend the white background for your client. When I start with the photos before the procedure, I always try to look for the perfect angle of my client. Look at this. If you put your phone to the angle like this, your client's chin is nicer. Yeah? So let's check if this is going to look nice. And let's compare it with a different angle like that. We are going to put some pictures and you can, we will compare it together and you will see what a difference it makes. Can you smile? Perfect. Now let's do the video. Try to have steady hands. It's really important for you to have steady hands. Make sure that your client's face is in the middle of the picture or of the video. What's really necessary, in my opinion, is to have pictures and videos full face of your client. I can give you one tip. In my opinion, it's really good to have pictures and videos of full face of your client and also some macro. How to use your macro lens? You have to put it exactly over here and make sure that the macro lens is in the middle of the lens on your phone. Let's take some pictures and videos with macro lens. Try to have a really steady hand. I know it's like a challenge for me too, but we can do it. Try more different angles. It's really nice for you. And then you can choose from your videos and choose the best one. Now we are going to take some pictures with my macro lens. I love this kind of pictures really, really a lot because you can see a beautiful gradient when you do it you can see every pixel you do it. So try it and you will see, you will love it. This is how I take pictures before the procedure and let's check how I do pictures after the procedure. When you start with the pictures, make sure that your phone is not in a bad angle, but move it a little bit more up. Make sure that your client's face is in the middle. Be sure that you are not zooming in too much. See, it's not such a good quality now. So always stay at one. Or if you want to zoom in, 
you can always use macro lens. I already told you that your settings should be set up at 4K 60fps. Now let's start to take a video. Another one. The angle is always the same. You only move your phone a little bit. When you go even closer, you can beautifully see your gradient. Every dot, every pixel. I really, really like this zoom in videos. Now I can show you how to do pictures with the macro. Can you open the eye for me? Amazing. The other side. So we finished with the procedure. I created beautiful brows and I'm really happy about the outcome. Let me know in the comments if you really like this too and see you in the next video. Bye!